people, welcome back to another episode of FTB Continuum. I hope everybody's doing alright. I'm doing pretty good. Well, to be honest, I'm doing so-so. Uh, to, to the point where some good things are there, and some bad things are also there. Like, uh, I decided to make this chest just to see what it was. I'd never seen this chest before, so I just decided to make it. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can say, like, uh, you want, uh... You, you, you want this to be that instead, and you want, I don't know, the color to be this. Well, you can change it and do all of them differently. You can also search into the chest uh, as you want, and it's pretty cool. Uh, I have been working with the bees. I have been working really hard, but it seems like things just don't want to happen. And that's the problem with forestry. Things, when they don't want to happen... They just don't happen. Uh, the bees that I'm trying to make at the moment are noble and diligent. Pretty much they're your basic bees. And they're the ones you need to have to go anywhere else. And the way you do this is with a common bee, you put a cultivated bee and you get 10% chance of having a noble or a diligent. The issue is, it's not giving me a god dang bee. <laughs> it's not giving me the bee that I need. And it is annoying as hell. Uh, you can also do cultivated with common. And that also works. But like I'm saying, just does not want to work. I keep putting them back. I tried with the frames. I tried without the frames. Just nothing. There's nothing that wants to work. So, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, I think I'm going to prefer this one. But, yeah, uh, I'm also working on another one uh, in the jungle. It's when you put cultivated... Uh, if we look here, cultivated with tropical will give you a sinister. So, I'm trying to get this one. There's a couple of ways to get the sinister, but that's the way I decided to go because it's closest to my base, the jungle, and over here. Uh, also, I did... Modify a little bit the building over here. I decided to go with uh, this little visual. I kind of like it. Uh, this is the inside, by the way. <laughs> Just let me go on the other side and I'll show you the outside. So, pretty much I decided to go with giant doors, like so. And it's pretty much going to be like this all the way around. Uh, this is not going to stay there. But as you can see, it, it's pretty cool. I like the look. Uh, I might make this go past the border over there and further that way it's going to be windows instead of pathways and it might continues and going that way as well like over here and then it would stop it would like make a little bit of a hell shape l shape i think that would be pretty good but we've got to talk about something else uh, when you do bees you kind of want to go into gendustry as fast as possible because well that's the way it's done. Uh, well, I just look at something for Gendustry. We, we saw that we needed a bunch of things to be able to make. We needed some liquid. We needed to have the two things for the Imperial and the uh, Industrious Bees. But the thing that I did not see before was the number, the amount of liquid we need. We need 2,000 millibucket of honey and 1,000 millibucket of raw DNA. But that's not it. If let's say we go to this one here, the mutagen producer, we need a power module. It's 8,000 honey and 8,000 raw DNA. If we go look at the, the raw DNA, how you get it, you get it in a genipool. There's a couple of steps before that, but you need to make the enzyme. And one drone will give you 10 millibucket. So if we calculate this for the mutagen produ uh, producer thingy, it, took, it takes two power manager, which means it takes 16,000 millibucket of raw DNA and 16,000 millibucket of honey, which means you need to kill 1,600 drones to be able to make that one item. 
Uh, I did report it. I find that it's really overpriced, considering the fact that it's already freaking hard to get your bees set up and get all the bees done to reach this point. Uh, I don't think it needs to be that high. And, well, that's my point on it. Uh, maybe other people have different ways of seeing it. I It's just my point that uh, it shouldn't be that hard once you get there. Like, so I just, uh, uh, when I reported it, I said that it should be a thousand millibucket for the power and the B receptacle should be instead 500. And I think it should be, it's better, but that's, that's my way of seeing it. But, uh, one thing we're going to do is in this building, we're probably going to have like all generation of things. Like when we want to, uh, like, uh, automation and stuff like that. It's all going to be in this building. So for this, I decided that I want to have power up here and not use the water power that we have at the bottom. So I looked at windmills, these things here. So they produce power and they're quite cheap. Well, they're, they're not cheap, but if we look at making this, I looked at this one, the mixed four. So it's nickel, bronze, and aluminum, something that I have a lot of. Here you have invar, bronze, aluminum. Why would you do this? You're wasting invar. So. I just looked at this and I thought it was better. And the only thing that was a little bit hard to do is the magnesium plate. You need magnesium and aluminum and that's it. So there's also these that we need to make, but I think we should be pretty good to do this. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this building. I really like the look of it. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, over here, I did make, uh, what is it, zinc. Let's start with the zinc. You'll understand why I've got zinc. I've got 36 beautiful dust of zinc. What we're going to do now, we're going to place it half here and half there. And then we're going to wait. While we wait, let's work on making this. So we need invar, silver gear, uh, iron casings. So we already know that I've got plenty of these. Uh, let's make four windmill. I'm pretty sure we we have the materials for that. Uh, I've got this here. I've got some advanced alloy plates. Uh, I will need four more to be able to make four of those windmill. So that means we need uh, four of these. Uh, let's grab the aluminum while we're here. We're going to need the uh, aluminum just after that. All right, we're going to come here, place that there. Then we're going to go over there, grab the magnesium that we have, and we're going to place it with the aluminum in the rolling machine. So magnesium over here, rolling machine uh, right there. All right, let's do this. That is not how you make it. <laughs> that is not how you do that. There you go. Now it's working. Perfect. So peridot is what gives you magnesium. So this is from the peridot ores from 16 to 42. And you just place it into your grinder. You will get dust. The dust into the industrial electrolyzer, which will give you the magnesium. You can also get silicon, which you can use to, if you have the liquid... You can put it with four of these, and instead of doing the steam, it's going to use the silicon to make your your things. So that's pretty cool. All right, make another one so we can have eight. There we go, we got eight. Perfect. So now we need this one. How is this thing? Uh, no, not that. The smelter is over there. All right. So let's look into the rest. We need silver. We need furnace. Do I have any furnace? Let's solve that by doing eight furnace. Okay. Then we need basic controls. I've got seven. We got the gear. We got everything. We should be fine to be making four of these. And we need this. So in my chest here, I've already uh, done a couple of these. So 12, perfect, should give us uh, enough for three. I thought I had enough for more, but that's not a big problem. Oh, I didn't know I had this here. <laughs> All right, 
Wait, why is this thing... Oh, I forgot to uh, put the correct thing. There you go, now it's going to go in. Perfect. So... Alright, we needed this. Y you could boost it to something else, but let me show you how you make these uh, little things. It's quite easy. So you grab these. You grab some sticks. Uh, I should have some in here. Perfect. There we go, it's gonna make 32 and bam, there we go, we got 10. So I think we should be good. We just need to have uh, these over there. All right, bam, there we go, we got the four. Let's remove this. Let's make this here, perfect. We've got four windmill. These have stopped cooking, which is perfect. We've got 36 zinc ingot, which can be turned into four block of zinc with steel plates on top. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's not where you make it. I think you make it in here. I hope. No? Well, how do you make it? <laughs> There's like one recipe for this. Oh, it's in the rolling machine. I forgot. Rolling machine. <laughs> it's actually used more than it seems. All right, so let's do this again. Here, here. Bam, it's crafting something. What will it be? What will it be? Something really amazing that I cannot wait to have. Because, ah, Tool Forge. Oh yeah, we have the Tool Forge. That means I can get rid of this thing, put it here, and we have all of the things we can make. So that means that now I can make the lumber friggin axe. Ah, <sighs> this is good. All right, so that's pretty cool. We we made a good amount of things. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna make the lumber axe pretty much soon. That is for sure. All right, let's uh, put things away. We, we got the windmill. So the thing that I wanna see is, how good is the windmill? I haven't checked because I presume the higher you are, the more it's going to give you. Can we sleep? Yes. I try to sleep as much as possible because the bees do not work when it's night. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I've been doing so far. Oh, we need, uh, we, we need our tool to be able to do any of that. If we don't have the tool, we can't grab the, we can't grab it back. There we go. We've got this thing here. Perfect. Let's go to the top. Uh, and the, the place I was thinking of putting them is on the roof or someplace similar to the roof. So let's do this. I hope it's going to tell me how much it's, it's doing. Uh, so maybe... It's doing 8. 8 FE. I don't know if that's how many RF. That's kind of my issue. I wish to know how much RF this is. Uh, let's go down here. Do I have some cables? Do not have any cables. Oh, by the way, I kind of... Well, did this thing really is weird. Like, it gets power and then boom, no more power. I think it's glitch. There's a glitch with the three mods together. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'll have to figure it out later. All right, so I want this. Going to be perfect. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab our thing to recharge. It should be empty when you break it, I believe. Oh, it's full. Um... I kind of did not use my items yet. Oh, that's the one that doesn't go down. This one goes down. <laughs> Alright, let's use this a uh, little bit just to... Just to be able to recharge it. Alright. So how many? Almost 50. Oh, we kind of want to grab that as well. All right, so it did grab 50. Oh, 
one too many. Right, we should be able to recharge this thing and it's gonna drain the whole thing. Perfect. All right, well, let's go back to the top. It's not a lot of power. I thought it might give a little bit more. Well, like I've been saying, I think it gives more. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna... Ah. It kind of has already a lot of power in there. Okay. Okay, it's empty. Let's put this there and that here. Okay, so it seems to be going like... It's not that good. It's like 16 RF a tick, about, I'd say. Maybe like double of FE. But it might be also just 8 FE and I don't know about it. So should this be higher? Hmm. Let's test something. We're, we're, we can test. Okay, let's try here. It's still 8 FE. Charge. Alright, let's try to go higher. Let's try 128. That's normally a, a peak. So it should be fine. There. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight. It's still eight FE. Huh. It seems to be going faster than that, though. <laughs> it seems faster than that when you look at the tooltip. All right. Well, it doesn't seem to be any different. So, I guess that kind of brings us to the fact that, like, this is not a lot of power at all. <laughs> so, we might have to find another source of power. But for the moment, this is going to be it. We need we need a little bit of power to power some machine. So, this is the machines we're going to use. Like, this thing's not even full. <laughs> this thing's not even close to being full. Wow, that's not good at all. <laughs> Can I, like... Yeah, this, yeah this, this is not good. Energy charge. Change. Why are they at zero? I don't know what the energy change is. But, yeah, so let's see this thing here. Hmm. Yeah, so sadly, it doesn't seem to be producing much power. Maybe if we send that into a machine, uh, well, into a battery, and then the battery would send the power, that would be better. Uh, but at the moment, I only have this one, and this one outputs 100 RF a thick, which is not enough. But, alright guys, uh, let's continue a, a little bit into what we need to do. Uh, today, we need to get into... Uh, which machine? Incubator? Yeah, the incubator. We need to make a bunch of incubators. I mean, I think we need about four or five. Because we need the water with the growth medium, which is going to give the growth medium. The growth medium with the wheat, which is going to give us the bacteria. And the bacteria... Uh, wait, is it the bacteria? Hmm... Uh, wait, we need to have... Which one is it? Okay, this thing with the growth medium. I thought that was the one. Okay, that's just B stuff. Alright. Yeah. I thought we needed to go there because the raw DNA is ethanol. Huh. So it's the biomass that we need. So we don't really need, we need one. And that's it. 
Well, we need the enzyme. So we need one with... that. That's the thing. That's the, the one I wanted to get. Okay, so bacteria will give us the enzyme. So bacteria with sugar will give us enzyme, which is the thing that we need. So, all right. So we need one to make the growth medium, one to get the bacteria, and one to get the enzyme. So that means three. So let me craft those three. Uh... I might move these, like, they're really useless here. <laughs> like, really useless. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But, alright guys, I'll be back. Alright guys, check this out. So, I've made the three. Uh, as it turns out, we kind of need four, but uh, we'll, we'll get to that just after. Uh, because, well, you, you need to get the raw DNA, and the raw DNA is the ethanol, but that's just another process completely. So, over here, we're going to put the growth medium. So, this thing, as you can see, it's currently putting some growth medium in here. And then the growth medium, uh, if we look, making the enzyme. And here, we need to place wheat. Luckily for us, we have a ton of wheat. Oh, it's night. Let's sleep. I haven't looked at my bees. I'm, I'm completely... Uh, Tired of <laughs> trying to get the noble and diligent. It's ridiculous. Just to let you know, guys, I've been doing... Uh, I've been trying to get a noble and diligent for three hours. Like, nothing else. Just these two bees. That's it. I've been trying to get these two for three freaking hours. It's a little bit uh, insane. Alright, we put these in there so we get the bacteria. And, of course... Then if we go uh, here, we need to put sugar, and the sugar eventually will give us the enzyme. There we go. So as you can see, that's a little bit how things work. And that's how we're going to get these. And of course you can make a other machine, but that's not what we're going to do. Oh wait, the thing we need to do is the genipole. I didn't know, so actually it's good that I didn't make four because it's another machine completely. Then over here, that's what we're gonna need over here. Uh, there's the things in uh, beanies that you can do, but to do this you need to have alvieries. And I don't want to get into the alvieries problems and stuff like that. But, let's get over here. Bam! Cobalt lumber axe. We're good to go with the lumber axe. Uh, I'm gonna do... I I'm mainly using this to do the spruce. Uh, the, the only thing is, as it turns out, you need a lot of spruce. So, that's kind of how it goes. I also need some sugar, but I've got a Valiant Bee, and Valiant Bee do give sugar. So, I'm just letting it work, and it should give us what we need after that. So, alright, let's, let's do this. So, we're gonna plant this thing here. Uh, there's missing one. Alright, so let's do this. So that should give us... Oh, come on. Alright. Why is this thing not working? Cool. Oh, alright. Well, we're, we're gonna have this. There we go. All the wood. All of it. Perfect. That is what I'm talking about. And it doesn't take that much durability. And we get all the saplings back, so we can do... ...this, and just... ...go crazy a little bit with these. And that should give us... ...all the wood we'll need to do this. Uh, by the way, you might notice that this thing is actually bark. So the way you get bark is... ...if we look at bark... You get it by doing nine, and then you can change it back if you if you don't want it. But yeah, there's also these things here with the longest name in the history of blocks. <laughs> it's uh, pretty much if you look at the recipe, let's say, uh, for this. Here you can do crazy things. And the one I'm doing is this. I'm using a spruce and dark oak in the uh, no dark oak in the side and spruce in the middle. So you kind of get a little bit of an effect, and it does really look. I think it looks pretty cool here. So that's awesome. But yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with uh, this here. 
Uh, I don't know how many we're going to get, but it's, surely we're going to need more sugar. Uh, wheat, we're good. The growth medium is sugar and bone meal. So that's pretty good. And the uh, water, well, I've got infinite source of water over there. So I just put the drum and we're going to place it back over here. But as you can see, we're getting good enzyme. 0.25 per 10. So of course you need a lot of enzyme. But let, let's take a look again at the bees. Let's see if they changed. I, I'm pretty sure they won't have changed, but <laughs> I can't, I can't know for sure. But you know, until now it's been no, 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 no. There you go, cultivate it again. Let's see this one. Oh my God, we've got an ancient. <laughs> really? Ancient. What do we, we skipped? An ancient is a diligent and a noble. We, sk <laughs> we skipped. Oh man, this is, this, this is pissing me off. To be honest, guys. Because I don't need an ancient. I need one of the two. Because if we look at the noble and the diligent, this is the basic stuff for everything. To get the imperial, you need a noble. To get an industrial, you need a noble. To, an unwary is a diligent and a cultivated. The diligent will give you pretty much everything. A rural to get you sugar. Like all of these are things that you need. But I can't get them for the life of me. Uh, of course, I'm going to let this one run. I don't know what it gives. Uh, it gives old cone, which gives honey drop and beeswax. So nothing. Okay, if you go primeval, what does it give? More of the same prehistoric, the same unstable barren, and which gives the same. So uh, let's see, barren can get desolate, which is the same decaying, which can gives you rotten, which can give you rotten free. <laughs> like who would go to all that trouble to get rotten flesh? <laughs> That makes no sense. Why would you do that? But yeah, all right, let, let's let's do the same thing here. So we can get the Miri, which I think is for uh, get Mossy. Wait, let's do Miri. Miri can go Boggy and Boggy can give you Peat. So that's one of the thing. You can also get Fungal and Fungal will give you the Mushroom. So that, that might be good. Uh, let's see. So the Miri could also go fungal. Yeah, so can go damp, which is the same thing. So nothing really crazy. But all right, let's see. There's the ancient, which we have the mystical. We don't have that one. Oh, the monastic. I'll have to go check where you get those. I don't remember where you get those. I think they're from villagers. But I'm not sure. Because you kind of need those if you want to go crazy, like the abnormal, the spatial, the quantum, which gives you sort of shimmering. We'll need to have those. So the monastic, I don't remember where you get it. But yeah, guys, uh, let me continue working with the bees. And if there's any change, I'll bring you guys back. I also got to go check that bees over there. Uh, I, I started doing some jumping around because I needed uh, I needed to reach this place. And I tried with portals, but the portals kind of don't link correctly. So instead, uh, I decided to, as you can see, I've got my pat here. I just go like this. <laughs> That's pretty much how I get to my bees. There we go. Oh look, there's some little cats. All right, what do we have? Cultivated. So we need to cultivate it with another bee, a tropical or modest, to give the sinister. But for some freaking reason, it does not work too. <laughs> so yeah. All right, I'm gonna continue working on my bees and I'll bring you guys back if I see something good happening with them, like a noble or a diligent or sinister. Or the three of them. So, alright, I'll be right back. Well, guys, after five hours, 28 minutes, we have a diligent and 
we have a noble and we have an ancient and for some reason I've got a red drone over here but I'm currently still trying to get the not the majestic the sinister one but for the moment that means that I will have to let these grow and make some babies because we'll have to make some of these, mix them together. That means we're going to be able to get the Imperial Bee pretty soon. Uh, of course, that also means that I'm going to have to make the Unweary. And then the Unweary and the Diligent together will give me the Industrious. Which this will allow me to get everything that we need to go into Gen Industry. So that is freaking amazing. Uh, by the way, this is just amazing as well the fact that it can just chop down all the wood in one go it's just ah uh, it feels so good being able to do this but i kind of remember the the monastic molastic monastic yeah the, these they come from villagers and i believe that we don't have any village on the server so that means that I'm going to have to uh, get three v three zombie villagers and turn them into zomb uh, into villagers. Make a villager breeder to be able to get an apiarist uh, villager, so that we can use the apiarist villager to get what we want. So it's complex. But uh, I'm probably going to do this uh, off-camera in between episodes. It's not something, it's just vanilla stuff, just breeding villager. Uh, it's probably going to be in a chunk where you actually need to be there for it to, to chunk load. I don't want to, it to lag the server. Uh, this place here is chunk loaded and everything, but uh, if, if there's no more space, it just stops. So, guys... That is actually going to be it for today. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a little bit all over the place. But if you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe, guys. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.